Hello everyone, Mr. Fungi64 here, and welcome back to Pokemon Leaf Green. Last time we made our way to uh we made our way up Mount Ember and caught ourselves Fairflyer the Moltres. I'm recording this in the same day, so if anyone left suggestions for the name uh of Moltres, I haven't been able to see it yet. But just like then, and I'll say it here at the beginning. If you have any good name suggestions for Moltres that aren't, you know, racial slurs or something awful. Something, something respectable, you know, for being fair, nice and fair. Feel free to leave them in the comments. I can always head to the, I think the Name Raider. We've definitely, yeah, we've been to the Name Raider. That was like Lavender Town, I think. Uh, and while you're at it, if you have any good ones for Zapdos... Uh, or Mewtwo, even. Whatever other legendaries are catchable. Because I don't know what the post-game entails. I've been over that before. But, without further ado, we're going to cross Route 21. Fighting all trainers on our way. And we're going to walk to Viridian to fight the 8th and final gym leader. And that's going to all happen this episode. Stay tuned. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know, I thought that would be funny. Of course, you know what? We can take on a water type as a ground type. Water doesn't resist ground, so... We just need to get, not get hit that much. And we're like almost 10 levels ahead of the star you, so... I think we're fine. Uh... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, hey, a war turtle. Uh, that's cool. Anyway, did I ever mention? I don't know if I've ever actually mentioned this. So when I was a little kid, uh, way back when I didn't know as many of the Pokemon, and back when not as many Pokemon existed, uh, oh my goodness, Squirtle was my favorite Pokemon, uh, and in one year, uh, as a I think it was my 10th birthday. I got a pet turtle as a present from, uh, I was in Cub Scouts at the time. It was one of this one really friendly, uh, of one of the really friendly scout leaders, uh, who was friends with, uh, friends with my mom, who was also a scout leader. Um, they're, they were all friendly, just, to mention, like, they were all great. Oh, hello. Uh, and you can probably see where this is going. I named him Squirtle. Uh, he's still around. I mean, it's a turtle. A red-eared slider. Um, named because they have, like, these reddish-orange markings near where ears would be. I don't know if turtles actually have ears, per se. They probably have something. I don't know, actually. Despite knowing a lot about animals, I don't know weird things like if turtles have ears. You know what? I'm going to look that up after this episode. I'm going to look that up. Um. Oh, boy. Uh, do I risk leaving them in? Yeah, I risk. Ten levels lower. Super effective. We'll still do decent, but... Um... Uh, let me just, let me just full heal that. We're not, I'm not messing with sleep today. Double slap? Didn't even use a water type move. What's wrong with you? Well, works for, you know what, works for me, so. Uh, unfortunately, now I live in an apartment. First and foremost, I don't know, I probably mentioned that before. Uh... And although I don't think they have anything against reptiles, uh, he's also mostly like semi-aquatic, uh, which makes the name fit even more. Uh, Squirtle. Um, there's just no room, no good spot to have his tank, and I'm really ashamed. I he, he's with my grandparents, which is where I used to live before. I live here. 
and they take wonderful care of them, and I visit every once in a while, like, very frequently to just check up with them, because I love them to bits and pieces. Um, I'm an animal guy. I like animals of all sorts. Uh, even bugs, to a degree. <laughs> Uh, I find bugs interesting. I think they're some of the most interesting animals out there. How weird that they can get. I just, I'm just not a fan of, uh... I just, uh... Like, I used to be a lot more afraid of, like, spiders and stuff than I am now, and I'm glad to say I've gotten better. Oops. Well. Didn't mean that. Also... I don't think I threw up a repel, did I? Well, we'll find out. I'm just gonna keep sailing as if I did have a repel. Uh, I just don't. I just don't like them near me because I, I did. I don't like the feeling of their little legs crawling on me. It's. It's a uh, no thank you. That's that's a big no thank you moment. Uh, another thing, especially with bees, I actually don't know if I'm allergic to bees, <laughs> which is like this looming fear because I've never been stung to find out, and I don't want to find out. Uh, never been stung by any kind of bug, which I'm glad to say, because on one hand it keeps them alive, on one hand I don't experience pain. It's a win-win for everyone. Um... But always as a kid, for some reason, bugs like to fly around me. Uh, and when I'm just walking, mind my own business, sometimes it scares the crap out of me because all you hear is the zzzz of their wings when you least expect it. It's just a real life jump scare. It's just, ugh. I hate it. But they're fascinating and kind of cool. So it's like I don't I don't know how to feel about that. Uh And of course, uh it does change whether or not I'm in my home or not. If I'm in my home, I'm a bit more strict on bugs, especially ants and flies. I haven't had flies lately, which I like cuz flies are more obnoxious cuz they well, fly, as if it's in the name or something. Uh, my ants are a lot easier to deal with, even if they're usually in bigger numbers. I'm glad to say I've never experienced cockroaches. Not invading my home, which, ugh. I don't know how some... Some places deal with that. I mean, probably growing up around it, you become, like, desensitized. Like how people who, like, lived in, like, hurricane areas all their lives don't really... aren't really phased by hurricanes as much. I'm terrified. I, I, like, I could never... I've never lived in an area that would realistically get hurricanes. Tornadoes? Yes. <laughs> Which, even though I've lived in an area that can get tornadoes all my life, uh, I uh, still am afraid of them because, you know, it's a tornado. <laughs> it's destructive. It's just, ugh. I've never seen one uh, in, in person, so to speak. Gladly, because that... If I can see it, I'm a bit too close already. How much is that gonna do? Not at all. Okay, cool. Um, but I've, uh. Huh. <laughs> and I have seen some. Some areas get hit by tornadoes, and it's. It sucks. It really does. Ah, uh, man. <sighs> just talking about it is like it's added a bit bit of anxiety to me I don't know
I'm not really one. I wouldn't say I'm a very anxiety person. Depends on the situation. Um, but, yeah, tornadoes will do it. <laughs> oh, come on, Cloyster. Ugh. Uh, slash. Speaking of tornadoes and anxiety, uh, weather alerts, the United States weather alert sound is, I absolutely hate it. That is in my top five least favorite noises of all time. Like the brrrr, brrrr, brrrr. You know, I don't, I'm not doing it justice here. I mean, it does its job as a warning, but just more so when I was younger and even still a bit now. Like, I feel like I'm about to have a panic attack whenever I hear that. Like, I, 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 I just hate it. I absolutely hate it. Did not mean to go into the bag. Schmoo. Switch. Uh, we haven't seen Bufo in a few episodes, so let's bring him out. Plus, we're in a watery area. He'll do just fine. Let's surf on the open blue. Anyone else? Yeah, this route is a lot bigger than the map made it out to seem. But I think we're almost done. This might this might even be our last trainer, and then we just kind of take a leisurely stroll through Ballot Town. Maybe say hi to our mom, since we've come a long way. I'm just gonna solar beam. Take a two-turn solar beam. Uh, Twister. That's a dragon type move, right? Oh, you're not part dragon yet, though, so this will be normal damage. Or super. You know what I meant. Ooh, a crit. Nice. Um. Uh, jeez. Oh no, you did have two Pokemon. Eh. <laughs> not concerned. Solar Beam will take care of everything. Um. Wait, what was I? I was gonna say something. I accidentally bumped my mic there. My bad. Um. What was I gonna say? I can't for the life of me think of it. Oh well. Yeah. <laughs> Who cares? Um. Uh. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, a potential double battle. Perhaps. Uh, yeah. You know, Bufo Triforce. That's a good duo. What's up? My sis doesn't get enough exercise, so I made her come. Uh, sis and bro, Lil and Ian, what was that noise? I don't know if that came through on the mic. I have my window open. It's not too hot out, but it's, it's nice to where it brings in the occasional cool, refreshing breeze, and I like it. Uh, pff, I just solar beam the star me. And I'll try attack the Cedra. Uh, there's like this shout noise, like a huh. It's like someone sneezed in a in a loud fashion, which I can relate. My sneezes are loud, which is why I tend to pause my recording before I sneeze, or at least I try to, because I don't want to blow my mic out. <laughs> I don't think it's really that loud, but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, right, Poison Point. I learned a few episodes ago, but it's, uh oh. Uh, okay, I'm still clicked in, I'm still clicked in, okay. Whoa. Speaking of that cool, refreshing breeze, the wind sounded absolutely ominous. No, that's someone's car. I hate people like that. Rev their engines in a... Peaceful location. Listen. The revving engine sounds cool. I don't... I won't... I won't disagree with that. It's... It's the worst when they... 
do it at night. I used to have to deal with that. Uh, this one area I lived. Oh, it was obnoxious. Right. Poison. Not max repel. Well, I guess that means I didn't have one up this whole time, and yet still didn't run into anything. I meant uh, full heal. Goodness. Uh, brain function. All right. Hey, Triforce reached level 44. I fought. I fought someone uh, leveled. Hello. Fight me. Yeah. Yeah. This this route's bigger than I thought it would be. Is it, don't tell me you are you are you the six magic arp guy? In which case I'm gonna sunny day. We're gonna we're gonna steamroll through these magic arps. Uh, how many how many? Uh, speaking of speaking of which, how many solar beams do I have left? Seven. Okay, yeah, perfect. We will have one left over for future use. Since hopefully this battle will oh lag. <laughs> what the heck? Well, I don't magic arps really gonna yeah, please don't be six magic arps. Oh no. Well, here I go thinking we were gonna get a level up off this battle. No, we're gonna get peanuts. Straight peanuts. I mean I like peanuts, but not in this case. This isn't the type of peanuts I want. Uh. Um. <laughs> kind of reminds me of this funny thing that happened not too long ago. Uh. So one of my cousins uh, has a peanut allergy. This will be important later. Uh, him and his brother came down, come down to visit every once in a while. I've mentioned them before. Uh, in, in the recent time, one of the recent times they visited, uh, just because out of straight boredom, we watched one of those like would stupid would you rather videos, and one of them just kept having both options involve some sort of nut or like sesame seeds you can't have either so he was, so he was like oh come on so it's just I, I don't know I found him amusing he's like oh well I guess I'll choose this one before I die uh I don't know it's a little anecdote while we're fighting the wall of carp who I believe are all high enough level to be Gyaradoses. Now that would be a threat, kind of. Uh, six Gyaradoses in a row, bit of an endurance test maybe, depending on your team. No, they don't, sir. All right, now we gotta fit, fight, fight, fun, fun, I don't know what that, we gotta fight this fisherman, that's what I tried to say, but it just kinda, just kinda flubbed my words here. All right, Sea King. See, this this is already a step up to the last one. I'm out. Of, I'm almost out of solar beams. So I'm just gonna strength. Save the solar beams for anything particularly concerning. Water sport isn't that useless. Fire's power is weakened. Why? Like water sport and mud sport are the two most useless moves. Water Sport weakens fire type moves and is primarily learned by water Pokemon who are already resistant to fire. If you want to null fire, just use Rainy Day or Rain Dance. I would combine the moves again of Rain Dance and Sunny Day. Uh, I'll let Ash take the rest of this just for an easy time. And then Mud Sport nullifies electric type moves or like makes I don't know if it nullifies them or what anyway but it's primarily learned by like ground types who are immune to electric so it's even more useless 
than water sport. Like, I could see those moves being useful if a Pokemon who was weak to one of those types learned it. Like, if a grass type knew water sport, it could come in handy in niche situations still, but, you know. And it's so bad, you don't see it often, so I don't even know how it fully works. Does it last for multiple turns, or is it like only the turn you use it? Which would make it even... That would, that would just make it even point, like more pointless. Unless you were doing like a weird tank build. Like, you use water sport every other turn with protect, and you're like, just... That's just there are better moves for that. It's just pointless. So it's probably not over. This probably lasts for either the rest of the battle or multiple turns. Um, it's still just useless. <laughs> like a flying type new mud sport, that could be somewhat helpful. It's just no. <laughs> it's awful. Just had had to get that out, out of my system. Speaking of out, am I out of this? Oh. Well, yeah, yes. Pallet Town. This is the technology sure is amazing guy, right? Yeah. We're back. Back where it all began. Which one's my house? It's this one, right? I'm, uh... Red, you should take a quick rest. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Uh, never change. <sighs> I haven't heard this music since episode one. And here we are, 39 episodes later. I'm getting my count right. Well, no time like the present. I don't have a repel on, do I? Hold on. Didn't it tell me my repel ran out? Oh, never mind. Nope. I am mistaken. Let's see how fast we can get to uh, Viridian. And we're here. I thought we had to go through... Oh, no, Viridian Forest is after. Whoopsie. Well, quite the journey, am I right? Man. You know it's been a while when I forgot where Viridian flipping Forest was. I feel stupid for even thinking that. Oh, well, we're here. It's time. No more delays unless Blue shows up. In which case, ugh. <laughs> but I don't think he shows up here. Hopefully not. Where is the stupid gym? Okay, Repel's Effect wore off. I'm okay with this. Hey! We never got this item. <laughs> I said no more mistakes, but hold on. Ahem. Let's find out what this was all this time ago. It's probably not worth it. They probably expect you to go back immediately. Yep, it's a potion. <laughs> Alright, what's back here? Oh, just the way back to... Okay. Well, <clears throat> I'll uh, meet you by the gym entrance. Alright. Here we are. Average gym leader has returned. Alright. Here we go. One last puzzle. Yo, champion to make it. Even I don't know Viridian Gym Leader's identity, but one thing's certain, this will be the toughest of all. The, uh, this will be the toughest of all the Gym Leaders. Also, I heard that the trainers here like ground-type Pokemon. Which is exactly why I put Eugene in the front. Uh, well, let's -a go. Hello. Your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. I'm sorry? I, I pet. Oh, yeah, sure enough. I forgot these trainers existed. Ground types, right? Ground types. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, man. Alright. Strength. I want to save my surfs for late. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Did not know Arbok was that bulky. 
Or maybe strength is starting to fall by the wayside. I mean, it's possible. Uh... Please... Just hit... Oh, Flint. Oh. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay. Thank you, Eugene. Alright. That's one. Ooh, almost a level, though, which is nice. Hey, Tauros. You know, ground type. Uh, crap. Uh, we only have the one full restore left, and that would be very convenient right now. But I'm just going to use a Hyper Potion, and I'll stick with the Paralysis, unless it gets super obnoxious, and then I'll... Uh, why? Okay, that's that that's a choice right there. Scary face. What does that do again? That lowers my speed. Okay. Huh. If I mean you're already faster, so it makes no difference. I'm just gonna use surf. Since you are so inclined to rest, first of all. And two, I forgot about intimidate. Toro I did I I uh, uh I did contemplate Toros. I definitely did. Um, but Dodrio's part normal, and I have my whole, I don't like repeat types thing. I try not to. Try my darndest. Um. Right. Nice. <laughs> that was, uh, those sure were ground types. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a keep mentioning that. Uh, I, I, uh, mm. See, watch. All the other ones are gonna have ground types. So I, I might, I might, I might wait to level up Ash a bit. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let Eugene get the 45. Uh, I don't know this one. All right, that works. I don't know if this one's. I don't remember. How much of a puzzle this is. Um, <laughs> crown types. I, f I feel lied to. Uh, uh, surf is probably better. I'd imagine your special defense is worse than your physical. But sometimes Pokemon makes no sense. And sometimes, I mean, ouch. Uh, but no, seriously. But sometimes, I mean, most of the time. <laughs> like, uh. Like those videos showing certain specific stats of, like, legendary Pokemon are beaten out by, the, like, small little Pokemon in one stat. Not even legendary Pokemon, sometimes just fully evolved. Like, uh. How Polyraph's attack stat is 10 lower than trap inch which i i'll never i'll never find not out wait i'll always find it funny cuz polyrath is like this fully evolved fighting type pokemon fighting types usually have amazing attack trap inch is just a little little guy little antlion just chomping Well, well, this looks fun. One. <coughs> oh, my throat. My throat's dry. I also did just realize the runtime of this video. <coughs> oh man, there's the ground types. Um, and I'm I'm committed. So no matter what, even if this episode's gonna be a bit longer, we're gonna finish this gym. I'm not just going to do it partially. Uh, but then just, you know, next episode we start with finishing the gym leader. I'm just going to do it all here. I don't care how long it takes. It's not going to, I doubt it's going to take that long. I don't think this gym is that big. Wow, are we going to see all of Kanto's ground types in one fight here? What's happening? Like, show, show me right on. 
Well, hold on. We have to level up first. Show me right on. Graveler again. Okay, that works. We haven't seen a golem yet. I have a. Th I think we will though. I think the. I think uh, the gym leader has golem. <coughs> uh, what was last? Marowak. Oh, I forgot about. I actually forgot about Marowak. Not like there was a whole plot point centered around the dead Marowak. No, that that would never happen. Shush. Uh, Hit him with the old switch. Uh, uh, see, part of me is like Ash, but they're actually starting to use ground types now. Uh, we'll throw we'll throw her in the front just to get some experience, but especially since this is a black belt or whatever trainer class this could be. Yeah, black belt, right? Yeah. So maybe... Yeah, see, but chop! My favorite ground <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, the joke's gotten old. I'm sorry. I ruined it. Uh... <laughs> Part of me wants to name this episode my favorite ground type. I might. I might, I might just... I mean, I've... It kind of has a double meaning, because as I mentioned before, ground actually is my favorite type, if I had to pick one. Uh, I like all the types, to a degree. Um, like, yeah, ground's my favorite, but then flying's probably my least favorite. I just feel like, at least as far as Pokemon designs go, it, uh, it's just a lot of birds <laughs> uh, I, I don't know there are other I mean or like I, I guess there's just not really much you can do with it the more I think about it other than flying because uh, there's like birds bugs and bats which we've had multiple times over in the especially in the flying department um, <clears throat> and then there's like flying things like we have Drifloon is a uh, balloon there's Rhyhorn ah uh, crap switch <laughs> not much we can do about that uh, let's Bufo take care of this Rhyhorn is rock ground right or like ground rock one of those right I'm not mistaken I think they are. Uh, but, eh. Now my concern. They go down all the same. Uh. It's just, I feel like there isn't really much you can do with flying type after a while. I mean, I still like flying type. Don't, don't get me wrong. Another one. And this, this might. Uh. If I was a bigger content creator this would definitely rake me over to coals uh dragon type i'm more so disappointed i love dragons all right i want to get this out of the way other franchises do really cool dragon designs and i like see it's like on one hand i love the designs of dragon type pokemon but most of them don't feel like dragons to me uh like, even though I like Pokemon, like, Arjaladon, Gudra, uh, they just don't feel like dragons. Like, even Garchomp, it's more shark than dragon, which is the point. And it's still a sick design, don't get me wrong. Garchomp is wonderful, and I love the other ones, too, I mentioned. But it's, I don't know, it's just... Then you have the other side, where you just have kind of like the most generic dragon you can think of. Dragonite, Salamence. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's the truth. I love them too, but... Boring is boring. 
Um, even a lot of the legendary dragons, which there are plenty, just, I don't know, something's off about them. It doesn't feel... I don't know. I don't know what I'm expecting. I don't know how else to word it. It just doesn't feel right. And I, I take a look at another uh, kind of franchise that... Uh, I don't know if I would call it... Yeah, I guess it kind of is aimed towards kids too, much like Pokemon. That's How to Train Your Dragon, which is a series that I love. It's my favorite DreamWorks uh, movie trilogy to boot. Uh, the shows are pretty good too. Um, it's good stuff all around. <clears throat> um, but th they have really good dragon designs. I mean, some of them. I, I, I did not just use Sunny Day again. That's when. That's when you know I need to pay it. Pay it, Pay some more attention. Uh. Jeez. I don't know. I just want something. They aren't all kind of disappointing. The dragon designs of Pokemon, though. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't min finish my thought on how to train a dragon. They have a good mix of cool-looking dragons and goofy-looking dragons that still feel dragon-like to me. I don't know. This Pokemon doesn't doesn't do that as well. There are still good dragon designs. Like, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of uh, Hydreigon, uh, Drudigan, it's cool, Haxorus, jengmo o or... I can never get that evolution line straight between Jangmo-O, Hakamo-O, and Komo-O, which is probably my favorite uh, dragon evolution line for reference. Just like the idea of dragon fighting types. Um, and they're sick. I don't know. They feel they have a nice menacing look to them. That feels dragony, but you could also have a goofy dragon. Uh, most recent example is Hydrapple. Love Hydrapple. I love the rest of the uh, Applin family too, but Hydrapple is the shining star. It feels dragon like, but it's got that Pokemon goofiness in the right way. <clears throat> like, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know. I, f I find dragons to be this, like, cool thing, but they can also be goofy. Especially for something like Pokemon or How to Train Your Dragon. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> just... Uh... Just kinda... Oh, I didn't realize... I wasn't paying attention. Sunny day is gone. Oh, well. Um, live the solar beam. That's impressive. You did resist it because you're poison. Oh, don't use a hyper potion. Boo! Lame. You're not even part ground type yet. That's why it wasn't neutral. I'm just gonna use strength to you go down. I swear, if you have another hyper potion, though, that's just kind of boring. Okay, thank you. Don't need, to, don't need to draw this out more, especially since you have another Pokemon. Will it be Needle Reno? Needle Queen. Alright, that's another way that could have went. You are part ground, so I am going to go for a Solar Beam. Uh, I doubt anything you have will do that. Mm. Oh no, Perilous. Ah, uh, you went faster because of the Paralysis. Ah, crap. Alright. Uh, Baku, then. Since you're poison type. So. Works for me. Then I'm definitely gonna have to go back and heal. Yeah. Maybe I should have split this episode. But I'm already committed. I've already 
before I put my foot down. I'm not gonna raise my foot again. <clears throat> I feel like we've hardly made any distance. So there's that trainer, that tra oh my goodness. Well, I'll meet you. <laughs> That's fun. I'll, 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 uh, play. I'll meet you back here. That's what I'm going for. Welcome back. Hello. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Yeah. So that was my f rant about dragon, dragon type Pokemon. Don't get, get, don't get me wrong. I still love dragon. Dragon type Pokemon are still cool. Um. Uh. I just, I just hope they go in the direction with like I grapple some more for what the inevitability of Generation Ten. Which is probably going to be a big deal. I mean, ten generations of Pokemon. Holy crap. Right? Like, man. That's going to be incredible. Uh, give me one moment. Whew. Sorry about that. Had to respond to a, to a message. <coughs> Text message. To be precise. Oh man, I'm gonna need another drink of my water. Let me just throw up a thunderbolt. Uh back down we go. I still love these spinning tile things. Just walk around. Ah, there he is. I thought that guy down there, right? I'm pretty sure. Free and Jim was closed for a long time. Now our leader is back. Eh, even if I didn't fight that black belt down there, I'm not going back. I just wanna... I just wanna end this video. <laughs> I'm not built for 40 plus minutes worth of conversation. I'm already built for 30, as I'm sure you can tell. I'm st I'm too I'm too new at this. Uh, let me switch. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Triforce handle this one. We've got pretty good counters for a lot of the Kanto ground types. Of course, Triforce is immune to ground. Um. We've got Baku, who can handle Needle King and Needle Queen. And, of course, Bufo and Eugene as grass and water, respectively. We've got... We've got great ground coverage. How has this battle... Oh... Super Potion? Okay, that, we might be able to do enough. Hopefully? Maybe? Probably, actually. Also, Cool Trainer Samuel made me realize... Uh... Made me th think. I knew a Samuel once. Cool good, cool, cool good, cool dude. I wonder how he's doing. I should, should text him sometime. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> We're faster, right? Yeah, I'll steel wing again. Found an actual use for steel wing other than a finishing move. Bring that sand slash back out here, and I'll whoop it behind. Sand slash. Yeah, let's, let's finish this, shall we? No getting out of it. You're done. I might have to heal again. Hey, we got the defense raise. That's good. Might have to heal again. Well, I might just go into the the fight. Oh my goodness, you have another flipping just fly. I'm just gonna fly. <laughs> eh. Although I think we're. I just realized how close I. I think we're, we are to getting a uh, drill peck, which will be nice. Try attack does more damage. It's it's not really worth using fly, and we're not gonna kill with this unless we get a high roll or a crit. Yep. Please don't kill. Okay, we're faster. Hit him with the steel wing. You know the drill. Peck. Sorry, couldn't help myself. 
This is what happens after 45 minutes of recording. I'm sorry. I should have split the episode. I'm just gonna switch. Let Baku take these last two. I'm not gonna go back and heal. I'm just gonna use my items. We're gonna go into this fight with Giovanni. The final gym leader. This... It's a feature-length presentation. It almost is. Which is the sad part. Oh, man. Needle King. Oh, that's such a cool sprite. I'm not, I don't think I've ever seen that sprite of Needle King before. That's really cool. And if I... For the record... If I had allowed repeat types, even just one repeat type, and maybe I will in the future just allow one type to be repeat, Needle King would 100% been on the team. I'm sorry, Sandslash, but Needle King... Needle King's so cool. It really is. Oh, we only need to use one Hyper Potion. That works. Yoink. Cool. Alright, Giovanni. This episode doesn't end until I beat you. Let's do this. One last match. Until maybe post-game, unless there's something there. Let's go. Who am I going to lead with? Not Ash. That is for damn sure. Because if he leads with a ground type, eh. Shall we sweep? Shall we try and set up a sweep? How many uh, How many uses of uh, good old... Good old solar beam do we have left? Oh, we haven't used any since we healed last? <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It'll, it shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. Leader Giovanni would like to battle. Rhyhorn. Last time we're gonna hear this. Gotta make it last. Sorry. I even I even turned it up on my own uh, headset. I'm gonna turn it back down now so I can hear myself think. This song is so good, so good. Let's get this dub. Let's finish this episode on a high note, and I promise that I will never extend this far of an episode ever again. Just. I've learned my lesson. Um, hopefully. I've hopefully learned my lesson. Jeez. It's almost 50 minutes. I'm gonna try and make sure this doesn't happen. Hey, Doug Trio. We haven't seen a single one this whole episode. Oh! Earthquake! Come on, Bufo. You got this? Yeah! That's what all those, uh, no, not zinc, iron. That's what all those irons were for. Bulky boy. Hopefully we get Earthquake from this gym. I think we do. Which will be a long time coming. Okay, Needle, needle Queen here might be a bit of a tank. Since grass is neutral. Eee, earthquake. Ah, uh, <laughs> hurts. I'm definitely going to have to heal after this and probably have to set up another... Oh! One shot. Alright. Who's who's last? Needle King. That makes sense. Sunlight faded too. Alright. Not Pokemon. What am I doing? Why do I keep thinking Bag is in the bottom left? I think that eventually becomes a thing, doesn't it? Okay, we Hyper Potion. How much are your earthquakes gonna do? I'm scared. We're evil lev ev even level. Yee. We could take two. I'm just gonna solar beam. I'm not gonna sunny day. Although that would boost the attack. No. That only boosts the attack of fire type moves, not grass. 
just makes sunny it just makes it take longer I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I, I also just realized we're not gonna take two was that a crit or did he just like high roll that second time I wasn't paying attention all right Baku our our backup our plan B and if you go down uh, okay <laughs> I was getting getting worried for a second there and with that well, first I'll read the dialogue. Ha. Huh. That was truly that was tr a truly intense fight. You have won. As proof, here's the fun here's the earth badge. I almost said thunder badge. I feel like I've given Giovanni a different voice every time I see him cuz it's just been long enough. The earth badge makes Pokémon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokémon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. TM26 is Earthquake! It's a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I, I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. And with that, thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry. Next time on Pokemon Leaf Green, we head towards Victory Road. I don't know. I hate Victory Road. Until then, remember to stay positive, because I'm going to need it. Later. <laughs>